Hello and welcome back to my channel. So um, I was looking on the Tiffany website um, just at a couple things and I noticed that they are now selling the Tiffany tea by itself on the site. Previously you had to get it in a gift package or you bought it at the flagship store in New York. Those were the only two places you could get it. Uh, but now you can buy the tea individually. It doesn't have to be in a gift set, but we'll get into all of that. Um, so I actually received the Tiffany tea last year for Christmas and I meant to do a review on it. And then I realized I never went back to review it. And so I know I had had several people interested in the tea. So I wanted to review that. Um, so... First of all, when I got my tea, I received it in a gift set. So it came with a point, actually it's a three ounce or 86 gram uh, tin. So that's what it looks like here. So the tea is blended by Baloque tea and that's um, how it's spelt right there. Now they are a upscale luxury tea blender. You can buy on their website. They also have a location in New York. I've never bought anything from them. Um, they're actually very expensive, super expensive, but they are the blenders of the Tiffany tea that you can, um, like when you go to, I think the Blue Box Cafe in New York, that's what they're gonna serve you is the Tiffany tea. I think you can serve, um, choose a couple of different teas, but that's the one most people go with. Okay, so um, I, again, got my tin with two cups. The cups look like this. And I think the cost of the gift set for two cups and the tea was $175. So it was certainly a very um, luxurious gift. And um, it was... It was really like over the top, but my husband, um, he wanted to treat me. He knew I'd wanted it for a while, so that's what I got. Uh, anyway, so I, when I was looking on the website, I saw you can now buy the tea individually. The caveat to that, so the tin uh, is nine ounces, so it's much larger than this, and it's $150 for, for that tin of tea. I'm pretty sure it said it was nine ounces. $150. Okay, let's talk about this tea and if we think it's worth $150. Because keep in mind, you can buy these same tins on the Baloque Tea website. They sell these tins. All of their tea comes in these tins. It's just a tin can. And they've got the Tiffany label. There's nothing, like I could see if this tin or if this can was sterling silver. It is not. It's just a tin can. So let's look at the tea inside and see what we think about it. Um, the, the bottom of it too says Baloque. And uh, I mean, it's a nice tin, but not worth <laughs> the cost. Um, so the tea is... Chinese black tea, roses, lavender, and vanilla. So it has a little lid you take off and then it's got the little freshness cap there. And then that's what the tea looks like. Now this is jam full of tea. So you can see the, whoops, at this price, I don't wanna lose any of it. Roses, you can see a bit of the lavender, the black tea. Okay, I think I lost a, lost a rose petal. Okay, it smells very heavily like rose. So I did steep it up here in this Tiffany mug. I like these mugs. I do find um, they're very delicate, very light, very thin. And I find that the handle is a little awkward. Um, I don't honestly know that I love these mugs. And so, I I do like the tea. 
I think it's very nice because you've got that nice, mellow black tea flavor. It's not malty, it's very mellow. And then you've got kind of that floral note that kicks into the back end of the flavor. It's like rose and lavender are just kind of hanging out and kissing the back end of that tape flavor. It's very light. So because of that, this tea doesn't come across as perfumey or like you're getting just a mouthful of rose. It's actually really nice. It's a very nice balance. Um, the, the vanilla is, is so subtle. I mean, it's there and I think it's helping to balance out the flavors, um, but it, it's not very strong. Um, I do like the tea. I like it a lot. Now, this is a tea that I only reserve and have every so often because it is so expensive. Um, do I think it's worth that price point? Um, I don't. I mean, although it is very good. It's very good. There are a lot of other really great floral teas, rose teas. Um, I struggle with this price point. Granted, you're getting a lot of tea for $150, a lot. But still, that that's that's very expensive. And I think um, you're you're going to be buying the Tiffany name more than anything. And I think it is one of those extravagant gifts that you treat yourself every so often. Um, but I think for the majority of the people, you know, you're not going to want to spend this kind of money on tea. And I, I don't honestly know that it's worth it. Uh, it's very good. But um, honestly, if I had it to do again, and I was presented with the option of getting such an extravagant gift, um, I maybe wouldn't do it again. again uh, the tea is, is good, but it's not amazing. And, you know, the cup is, is pretty, but it's not overly um, comfortable to drink out of because the, the handle is very oddly shaped. It's just a very angular handle, which is um, difficult. So I don't know, to do it again, I don't know that I would um, would get it again, honestly. But I thought this may be helpful for those of you that are interested in the Tiffany tea. I think if you're a tea lover, it, it's intriguing and you wanna know about it. Um, I know when I initially mentioned this tea last year, someone would, uh, mentioned, oh, well, you could just go get it from that Baloque tea. You can't. You can only get this from, it is exclusive at the Tiffany's website or at the New York um, Tiffany location. I went, we have um, actually several Tiffany stores in Illinois. There's one in Oak Brook. There's one on Michigan Avenue. And um, you can't get it at either of those locations. I've been into both of those. So um, I, I don't know. Uh, Tiffany is one of those things that's always going to hold a place in my heart. Um, Tiffany was one, was the very first very expensive jewelry I ever had. My husband um, has, I've got a, um, a Tiffany, um, charm bracelet and my husband gets me charms for different things like when my each of my children were born or um mother's day just random things but it's very special to me and so i, I think that's why tiffany is always one of those companies i i just i love it i love the aesthetic i love that tiffany blue um but i just don't know even though it's a delicious tea i don't think that it's worth it not at all so if you're considering it or if you've been curious I, I there are a lot of other teas you can get some really nice <laughs> tea blends a lot of tea for that price so anyway I just wanted to discuss um the Tiffany tea today and uh yeah questions leave those below and as always thanks so much for watching bye